Hello my friends, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of Planet Zoo's Let's Build Together. This is the series where I give you one of my builds that I have done in one of my series and we sit and build it together basically. And today I'm going to turn up the difficulty level ever so slightly. We're going to build something a little larger, something maybe a tiny bit more detailed and uh, th that does mean that today's episode may take a little longer. I will link the rest of the playlist above my friends in case you're new to the channel and you want to go and check out some of the other stuff we built together but uh, today this is what we're doing it's going to be one of the shops um, that I built for my uh, new series uh, uh, do it better and uh, this is the shop that's near the entrance we're not going to do this shop exactly because it's quite large and it's got a couple of windows we are going to scale it down slightly but it's going to be very much along these lines Okay, gang, so let's see the pieces that we need to complete today's build first. Um, so then you will find it a bit easier if you want to favorite all these pieces or if you wanted to get them all ready beforehand. Um, uh, all of these pieces that you're going to use on this build can be found in the construction tab uh, at the bottom. The only piece I haven't put on the screen uh, is the actual counter uh, shop because it's really up to you which one you want to use. Um, but uh, do note that you need to use the counter one, not the um, you know the basic box shop. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So the first piece that we're going to need is the uh, conservation slack cladding beam uh, thin, and I've put the one meter and the two meter on screen because it's gonna, probably going to be a mixture of the two, and that can be said for a lot of the pieces for today's build. We're going to do the Planet Zoo plank thin painted one, two, and four meter. You're going to need the classic roof trim wood 2 meter, uh, the vertical wooden plank roof trim. You're going to need the Planet Zoo gutter 1 and 2 meter with the gutter cap as well. Uh, the metal beam um, small 1, 2 and 4 meter. The Planet Zoo uh, primitive rectangle 0, 2. You might actually need the 0, 1 as well um, because there is a detail inside. But um, I can't remember if I used the 0, 2 uh, for all of it or if I used a mixture of the uh, of the two. Uh, you're going to need the corrugated iron wall panel one uh, by two, the two by two and four by two uh, and the same can be said for the stained wood wall panel as well and then I've put plaster wall panel any size because really it could be mix and match. Um, it's whatever's going to cover the walls on the inside of the building the best uh, and as I've already said the food, drink, uh, gift count or whatever you want to use you take your pick. <laughs> Okay, don't get in, gang. Let's get building, shall we? Um, I am obviously going to do this at a pace that I usually do so that you guys can kind of uh, build along should you wish. Um, but uh, yeah, you can obviously, uh, you know, pause it and whatnot at certain stages. Now, I'm just going to use the first one that we find, and it is, of course, the... Um, the bakery one uh, and I'm only going to do one window on this rather than two windows that we've got on the original piece so I'm going to just place that there we're going to start with that piece because it's the best kind of piece it's the a good base for you to start with uh, for this build we can now go to the construction tab and everything we need is going to be in here so we're going to start with a plaster piece gang because we need to kind of get uh, a good kind of uh, feel for the height that we um, that we need to go um, I am going to go with this piece which is the uh, the one by four we're just going to rotate it on its side and uh, we're just going to get it so it's flush with um, with the uh, countertop basically and actually I'm not sure if we at, we are going to need this piece um, it does feel a little large but I'm not sure we'll leave it for now I'm just going to line it up like this uh, for uh, the minute. Now, the next piece we are going to need is we're going to need some uh, metal beams. And the reason for this is we need to try to create the window that's going to go around uh, around this uh, shop face first. So we can then tell the height of the building, basically. Um, and uh, and then we can go, for, go from there uh, after that. So we are going to select the two meter piece, I think. We'll start with that because we probably want to get the top and the bottom on. Um, I think the two meter piece is a nice size now as much as you're building along with me and you're kind of following my plan feel free at any time to kind of when you're building it you know do things your way you might not want all of this stuff showing you might you might um you might just want the uh the cashier uh you know uh part showing or you might just want the um or you might just want the cake showing. I'm going to do it so that everything is showing. 
uh, but that's just uh, that's just the way I do things. So we'll put that first piece in there, and then we'll get the second piece, and we're going to do it so that this piece is always the length of the table, basically. And as you can see, we're just offsetting it in front, so we get no clipping uh, at the front. This level as well, this little gap will, um, you know, it'll make sense in the moment when we start putting some other pieces in. So we have got those two pieces in. Um, now I'm just going to select this piece, and we're going to go back uh, to here. And uh, I'm just going to put that piece in and then we're going to just go up. And what we're doing this for is just so we can get the height of our window about right, about correct. I like to do it so it's just a little bit above um, the, the the cashier's uh, head, basically. Um, and this will make sense when we put our ceiling on at a later, at a later point. Um, so let's just put that there. And then I'm going to select these two uh, pieces and we're just going to come forward. Uh, essentially we're just going to do it like that and then I can go back here and uh, this is how we're going to get our height but we're going to make sure that it's all in line as well so we just put that there and then we can delete all of these pieces out so let's just delete those so we've got our top and bottom um, that makes uh, that makes a lot of sense I am actually thinking about potentially not showing these and um, and just doing it so we show the edge of this. I think that actually makes a bit more sense. We're going to get the, the one meter piece now. Um, because that should be about the right size. So we're going to do it to there, gang. Don't worry about this little lip. It will disappear, um, you know, as and when we do the next part. Which is uh, another piece that's going to kind of sit on top. But we are going to take it uh, to the end where I want it there. Because I do want the, the cake showing. So we're going to take that piece right to the end. And we're going to just cover that up like so we can now bring this piece uh, in to there and we are still going to need another one of those so let's just put that there shall we we can bring this one in though um, so that that makes a bit more sense and then we will just grab this piece and bring it down just so we cover that end now the bit, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to recolor all of this now obviously colors is entirely up to you you do whatever color you want I'm gonna go with green because I've become a big fan of like making stuff like this green um, you know mixing it with uh, wood colors it's very very nice and this here I am gonna make white because you will be able to see a little bit of this at a, a later point in today's video so now we've got that in, we want to create the part that would essentially house like a shutter. We're not going to make shutters, we're just going to make a piece that would essentially kind of house it. So you're going to go to your gutter and you're going to get that, um, you're going to get the two meter piece. And we're going to rotate that uh, on its uh, end like this and then we're going to rotate it like so. We're going to just take this up and we're going to take it in front of the uh, in front of the the, uh, the 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 metal piece just ever so slightly and I use this because it's got that nice lip to it so um, you know you can take it in front a little bit you could take it all the way in front like this if you so wished and then you could have a really really like large uh, sort of overhang but what I like to do is just kind of line them uh, line them up and then just take it you know a little bit uh, in like so We'll just take that to there and we'll get that lined up and then we will just overlap, get another piece like so and we'll put that there as well. So at this point I will recolor this one. So let's just recolor that. Now you can either just do it like this so it's just one level or if you wanted to make it look as though it was like slightly larger, you can go up and you can make it you know, a bit bigger like so. I think for this build, because we're going a little bit smaller, we'll just leave it at one. And just so you can cover the ends up, that's why I end up using the cap. So we're just gonna rotate that uh, on its end uh, like so. Um, we will put that just on the end there. Uh, we'll get that the same color. Um, so that cap, um, I like to take that in a bit further actually. Uh, so it's about there and then we take the uh, uh, the cap the other end and we do exactly the same. So there you go. That's your kind of window area 
done and made. Um, we're now going to work on the um, on the perimeter walls basically first. So this is your, your window. You know that your guests are going to come up to this point. We're now going to work on the basic shape of the building before we kind of do the detailing on the inside and the outside. So that for this point now means we need to go to our wooden pieces. So if we just stick wood in, uh, the next piece you are going to need is your stained wood wall panels. So we're going to start with a one by two because this is uh, going to give us our our basic shape we're just gonna rotate on itself uh, we're gonna come out so it sits just over that that's what I want uh, like so we're gonna bring this piece to the end and we're gonna go up like so okay so the way this should work is um, you know essentially this should almost be at the top of this um, it, that you want it to line up there because you're gonna put a piece around the top that's gonna help you end up putting your ceilings in at a later date basically so um, what I did um, when I first did this build was I did it just one line above so if you look at that line there just do it one line above and uh, that tends to be kind of the best height uh, for you let's just recolor this so we get it a nice kind of um, a nice kind of like darker wooden shade. I think that would be nice. So we're just going to recolor that like so. So this is kind of like the height you want to you want to go with. Obviously, as you can see, you're going to need multiple kind of items uh, to achieve achieve it basically. So we've got our first piece in there, um, and now we're going to just select the top one again. And now we're going to go with the two by two because it's slightly larger. And then we can go to this end. We can line that up uh, this end. We can take that down uh, to like so. And then what we're going to do there now, hopefully, actually, it's not going to line up the way I want it to. So we just need to change this ever so slightly. Basically, you want one of these lines to be at the bottom of this. Otherwise, um, you won't be able to line uh, line anything up properly. So there we go. You want that there. So yeah, it's, it's actually a smaller lip than I first imagined. So uh, now you're going to get your kind of longer piece uh, because you can and uh, you literally you're just going to line up uh, the pieces uh, like I am at the moment um, it probably is a better way to do it gang in all honesty but that's just kind of what I do uh, so there you go you're going to line those pieces up um, like so if I was to delete that piece out um, and I'll delete that piece out as well actually and we're just going to take these pieces across uh, instead and I think it will make a bit more sense so there we go so we're just kind of as you go along you're going to find you will do this a fair amount like you are going to uh, you know change uh, the pieces that you use um, you know as you're going along uh, and there's no there's no um, there's no um, it's not a bad thing so you know don't feel like that's a bad thing if you have to do that so now we're going to take this top piece and we're going to rotate that round and uh, what you're going to do is as you rotate it around, you're going to use this edge as your lip. So the minute you kind of see it, uh, then you're going to bring it back this way. And that's how you're going to get a nice, like, perfect corner. You're going to see there is a little bit of Z fight in there, but that's just because I uh, haven't pulled that piece, you know, forward um, to kind of get rid of that. Um, so we will just we will just do that. So these two pieces here, they kind of need to be, um, they need to come forward a little bit. Um, or we could probably actually do it with the bottom piece. Um, so you're going to do that, just bring it forward and then push it back into place and it stops you getting all those flashing lines basically. Um, so we're going to just put this piece here, uh, here like this. Now it doesn't matter which end you want to put your door, uh, it really really doesn't, it's entirely up to you. But for this build we're going to put the door this end. Now I have only put the pieces um, you know, in there that you need to use that you're going to need to use to build the door. Um, but what I would uh, what strongly suggest is if you go to doors and you find the Planet Zoo single door, um, you, uh, you click on this and you come over this way uh, and just put it in place basically. So we're going to flip that around there. Um, and we're just going to get the door in where where we want it basically uh, and you're going to use this as your template for creating your custom door uh, basically so what I would suggest is you're going to go down to this point like so you're going to line it up um, so it's all nice and done and this is the, fr the framework that you're going to use to to make your to make your door for, for the building so you're now going to go back to your metal beams 
So we're just gonna stick metal in. We're gonna go back to these metal beams that we used for the window a moment ago. And you're gonna get the four meter one. Now the reason I suggest you get in the four meter one to start with is because you can go, you know, you're gonna to have to stick this underground. Um, but the two meters don't quite make it to the top of the door frame. So it's just better to use a slightly bigger piece. Um, there's no, there's real no, no shame in it at all, using a slightly bigger piece. Um, so we're just gonna line this up where it needs to go. We're gonna take this one and line this up as well, just where that needs to go. So just to that point there. You're now gonna go and choose your one meter piece because you're gonna do the top of the door frame. So you're just gonna rotate that and you're gonna to go to the top of the door frame, just, just there, like so. Now you can delete the door out, you can get rid of it, because you've got your basic shape for your door. Um, so we can now click on these two pieces, and we can take them uh, down uh, where we need them to go. So we're just gonna take them to there, uh, and then we are gonna recolor them all the same as our door frame. So that's it, that's your door frame, that's gonna be your perfect size for your door. Now, what I would suggest is you're gonna um, duplicate uh, these two pieces. So you're just gonna select both, press Control X, it will duplicate them both. And you're gonna come this way and you're just gonna line it up to your door frame. And then you're gonna do the back and the other side of the building. And that's essentially how you're gonna get the basic shape uh, of this. And you're gonna see how much space you've got inside as well uh, and what, you, uh, what you're what you gonna uh, be working with. So if we were to get uh, this piece, and we'll take this back um, here, like so. Um, just line that up nicely. And then we're gonna take that piece to the top, like that. Um, we're gonna come around this way, because we're gonna need to do this end, because we need to know where we need to get to, basically. So we're gonna take that to there. We're gonna line it up the same way we did the other side. The only difference this time is that we're gonna use slightly bigger pieces, because we um, are having to fulfill uh, a bigger space and we wanna try and keep the amount of pieces we're using down for each of our builds. So if we take that to there, and then I'm gonna take this all the way even though we're not gonna, uh, we're not gonna go all the way because we're just gonna duplicate this and then we're gonna get that to there and then we're gonna um, place, the, place the piece, but it, we'll do that again. So we're just gonna duplicate duplicate that, take that to there, click back on this piece, and you can go back and you can line it up. So then you can select these two pieces and you can come down and get that to where you need it to go. And so there you go, you have got the basic shape of your building. It's really that simple and already, I'm sure you'd all agree, it's looking pretty nice, but it's once you start putting all the little final touches on when it really, really comes to life. So the first thing I do now, we've got our basic shape of our building, is I will put the inside walls on this. Um, and the reason I do this, gang, is I just think it gives your build a bit more detail. You could leave it with the wood if you want, but I like the outside and the inside to be slightly different, like buildings tend to be, kind of in real life. Now, you've already got this piece here, and that's gonna help you, uh, you know, a lot. Uh, covering the walls in the build. So you, what you basically wanna do is go around the whole building and just cover it in plaster. And that's why I said to you not to use just one piece of plaster, you can use multiple pieces. Because if you think about it, the back of the uh, the back of the building, we can cover uh, all in this. Now, if you wanna get this so that you're kind of like still leaving a fair bit of space, but you um, you you don't want the, uh, it to be on the outside, there's a nice little line there on your piece of wood and you can kind of line it up um, to that point um, uh, with your with your plaster piece, uh, and I'm going to leave the plaster piece ever so slightly higher than um, the actual wooden pieces, and that will become uh, the the reason I'm doing that will become apparent uh, very shortly. So we're just going to place that there. I'm going to put that piece in. We're then going to go and get a slightly smaller piece. We're just going to rotate that and. We're gonna just go to the end. Now I'm gonna select both and we're gonna go over this way and they should both fit without showing, I hope. So we just go like that. Yeah, they uh, they both fit without uh, showing. Um, so we're gonna select this piece again. We're gonna just rotate this and we're gonna use that to do these end pieces. Um, so we're just gonna get it to that line again like we did the first time. Um, and there we go, that's in there. Now what I would say is try to cover the wood up on the inside of the door frame. That door frame, by the way, is gonna get doubled when we put the door in because the pieces we use to make custom doors are actually quite thick. 
So we're going to put that to there. That shouldn't be showing on the front. No, it's not. Um, so we're just going to put that to there. I'm not sure if this piece is going to be too big to do the end, but we'll we'll double check anyway. So we're just going to get that where we want it. And then we are going to go over along to there. Yeah, it's far too large. So we'll go with a two by four uh, and that should be a lot better. Um, so we'll just turn that on its end and then we'll get the uh, one by four. We'll just put that here like so. And then we're going to use that piece again um, on these front pieces. We're just going to go to there. I'm going to bring that in on itself. And we're going to, as I said, we're going to cover that wood up on the inside of the frame like so. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Now you're going to notice that that piece uh, at the front is now uh, a bit further set forward. Um, but we can change that. It's not an issue. Uh, we can line everything up because we're going to have to just pull this piece forward and back because we don't want that Z fight in. So we're just going to do that to get that all lined up. And then we'll select that piece at the bottom and we'll get that all lined up as well. So we'll just take that in just so it's touching. And there you go. Um, you are all sorted. I'm just going to take that down ever so slightly so that is on the floor because it doesn't need to be up that high anyway because you're not actually going to end up seeing a lot of that so there you go there's the inside and there's the outside uh walls of your building now the next bit you need to do is there is uh, an offset trim on the top of this building um that's a couple of panels thick uh, and that's basically what the roof sits on and it also allows you to have your ceiling set a little bit higher inside the building so if you just click on one of these wooden pieces control x and then you're going to put wood in a Again, and this is where we are going to use the conservation slat clad um, and we're going to use a combination of the fin one meter and the fin two meter so select the one meter first just going to rotate it so that we get it to the point where it is on its uh, you know the, the largest surface uh, is showing um, you know at the beginning now what you're going to do is you're going to get this and you're going to just pull it out and then you're going to get it to the point where it's just touching the building so you kind of get uh, a bit of um, a bit of a lip and a bit of an overhang and then you're going to take this down and it's going to rest just on your uh, your little section there at the top um, and of course I like the idiot I am have, um, have pressed the wrong button and it <laughs> deleted it away as I'm building this I knew I knew this was going to be a bit more of a problematic build and it was going to take a little bit longer but um, you know I feel like we're, we're we're past all those beginner things I think we can start building uh, some more co complicated stuff so we're going to get that to there and then we're just going to take that to the edge just so just so we we know where that's going to go and then we're going to select the two meter one and uh, we're going to just put that on top basically so again problematic pieces so yeah we're just going to put that on top and uh, we're going to try and line it up the best way possible and i think that's probably about there so there you go and the reason i've done that is because uh, it's nice to just get your cladding right it's never done with all the same uh, they don't really line up uh, so you're just going to go and get uh, all of this and you're going to go all the way around the building uh, with um, with this design basically um, and then um, from there after this then you can uh, you know exactly where your roof and your ceilings are going to go so you kind of want this to touch you don't want big gaps kind of left in there um, so we're just going to get that piece there that piece is going to go there and uh, yeah we're basically it's just going to be a case of rinse and repeat so we're going to go all the way around the building so we want to make sure that we get all of the right, um, you know, spacing and whatnot. So uh, make sure that you, you know, taking this out and then you're taking it back to touch uh, the building like so. Um, and then you do want these to line up. So there might be a point where you kind of have to pull pieces forward because you do kind of want these to kind of line up because you don't want any weird edges or whatnot. So we're going to take that to there. Um, we're going to take the one meter piece. This might be a bit short. So if it is a bit short, it's better to just use the two meter piece and just pull it forward and back to stop the Z fighting because then you'll actually use less pieces. So we're going to just go forward and back like so. And then we are going to select uh, this piece and we're going to come uh, back this way and we're going to just line that up like so. So that's a uh, jobs are good one. 
Um, we're just going to take that piece. We're going to go a bit further on. Um, what I will do though is select these two pieces, Control X to duplicate them both and bring them up here already because they're going to be the same this end and then we know how far this piece needs to go. So I don't think the one meter will be large enough. No, it's not. So like I've already said, Carry on using the larger piece so that you don't use um, as many pieces. Uh, I think for this build, we could probably save a bit of time by um, not d bothering doing the usual kind of design that I do. We could probably just do a nice duplication of, uh, of, um, of the pieces, basically, that I've, uh, I've already built here. So we'll delete that one out, and then we're going to use this piece again because uh, the building is actually a little bit of a of a weird um, bit of a weird shape to be honest with you. It's not it's not large enough to do three long panels, and it's not small enough to do the, the the smaller stuff. And again, I don't know why, but pieces just don't seem to be going in on this build today. Very strange. Uh, anyway, right now we're going to select all these pieces we've just put in, gang. Um, like so. So it's just control, press your control button down, and then you go around and you click on each of the pieces, uh, and that will, okay, I don't know what's going on today. I really don't. I thought I duplicated that, and it's telling me I didn't. So, right, so we'll get that there, and then we're gonna just line that up, right. Now we'll press control and go round. Pete, you're gonna start to think I'm an amateur at this at this uh, game, aren't you, gang? Um, you're all going to be sitting there going, how, is he, how does he think he can teach us anything if he can't even do it himself? Uh, so yeah, you've done that, and then you just press Control x and it duplicates it. And we're just going to go up like so, and that's how you're going to get that level at the top, uh, that lipped level, basically. Um, so uh, yeah, apps are absolutely brilliant. Um, so that's that bit. We know how our roof's going to go on now. Um, and now you've got that bit on, you can do all your little details kind of on the outside of the building that like sets it apart. So what I like to do is then click on one of these pieces, control X, and we're going to just put trim and that's going to bring you to your vertical wooden plank uh, roof trim. Now what I do with these, because I think this is just a nice little detail to put on your buildings, is I take them to each of the corners like so, and I just have a very, very subtle lip with the piece, okay? And we're just gonna go to each of the corners. We're gonna just rotate around like so. Uh, and we're gonna just carry on doing that all the way uh, around uh, the building, basically. Um, so we, we're gonna start with this one. And then you're just gonna basically rinse and repeat for each of the corners. Once we've got them all in, then we can change the color up. I just find it easier to do uh, all the colors at once. So again, we're just gonna do that. And it is, like I just say, it's a case of uh, just replicating it for each corner of the build. And you just take it back so they, they line up basically and that little line disappears. Um, we will obviously get them all to go a little higher. So they just go underneath that lip, but Again, it's easier to select them all at the same time and do that. Um, and so we rotate that round. Um, we're just gonna go to about there. We are gonna take that back. It is a bit more difficult, obviously, here, because we're kind of working in the in the dark, in the shadows back there. We'll just take that piece to the beginning, and then we're gonna select this, because that's gonna make sure that it's all in line. So we'll just take that there, and then we will take that there. Select them all, um, so go around, control, and then click on them again. So just select like so, um, like that. And we're gonna just change the color. So I'm just gonna do them the same brown that we've been using. These have got a, a very different kind of look to them. They're a bit shiny, so they aren't gonna be the same color. Um, you know, the different materials do mean the colors are gonna show up like slightly different, but you kind of want these to pop from your original building anyway. And it should be said, you can recolor these. Um, so I guess that's something we probably should have done to get them to be a bit more, a bit of a closer color to what, what we're using. Um, so let's just go around and recolor that as well. Um, I'm sure you all know how to do things like recoloring items. Not everything is flexi color, but the majority of stuff is. So we'll just recolor that. So that's, that's that done. Right, so we've got those trims on. And then there's another trim that I like to do personally. Um, I'm actually going to, because I'm, I'm not a fan, I'm gonna actually bring this out a little further. Um, I don't like the fact that that lip 
is uh, is over it that much. So we're going to just bring that out a little bit further just to make it look nice. So we're going to click on this again. We're going to go to wood. And this is where we are going to use the uh, these pieces here, the thin painted uh, plank. We're going to start with the larger one uh, and kind of work out way around. So you're going to rotate it so that you want the larger kind of sur surface area showing like this one, not the thin edge. You want the larger thicker edge. And what I do here is I will just do this at the bottom and you want to get it so it just touches basically. And you're going to take this down to ground level. And you're going to take this all the way around the building. Now, what I suggest you do is go and do front and back first, like so. And then you're just going to get um, a couple of uh, your end pieces on. So you just do one piece front and back. Now, you're not going to need that longer piece uh, on the ends because they're not long enough. So just select the two meter piece. And then you're going to do the same again here. And then you'll know where your pieces need to kind of get to. So that's the best way to do it. We could probably use this again, like so. We're just going to forward and back it because we don't want that Z fighting. So we'll just do that. And then we can, uh, we can bring this to here. So we're going to um, just take this one up this way. Uh, like so. We can't do the same here because we've got the doorways. We are actually going to need to use a smaller piece. So just front and back again because you don't want that um, Z fighting. Do it a bit cleaner than I've done it there. So just like so. And then we'll go with this piece um, towards the back uh, like so. I feel like the back is quite far out, isn't it? Um, that needs to go in a bit more. There we go. Um, so yeah, we're just going to select that and we're going to go forward and back just to kind of stop that Z fighting. Although I didn't even put a new piece in. I don't know if it's because I build quick, but it doesn't seem to be working very well today. Um, so yeah, just front and back to stop that. And then, uh, this piece can back again. Obviously it's not going to stay white. You can do this whatever color you want. So we'll just select the pieces we've done so far. Um, and I'll do them, I'm not gonna do them the same color. I think I'm gonna do them just slightly lighter. So just like that. And then obviously we're gonna to have to do these with smaller pieces because they're near the door frame. So let's just go to there. I'm just gonna line that up with this. Um, yep. Take it back to there. And we are going to recolor the piece and we can line this all up nicely in a moment so we've got that piece in now so you can select this piece and just so you don't get those weird edges edges you can take that forward now it's all about you know how much you want to clean it up um i'm very ocd so i like everything to like really really look tidy um, and then we'll just go to there and then we'll take that piece over to there basically so that's that that's another nice little detailed piece um, around your building at the bottom just to give it um, you know an even nicer look so that's pretty much all you need to do on the outside one thing I like to do though is I like to get this uh, classic roof trim and uh, build out um, you know a shelf for it so we just get it to there rotate just take it just so basically there's like a little lip there with the wood so you want to take it just to that point and then it's up to you how big you kind of uh, you want to do you want to do this so uh, I'll take it to there I make this green because I think it looks really really nice uh, see that green color the way it, you know pops off of the the wooden color so we're just going to do that and then we're going to take this piece and we're just going to go to there. We've kind of got a little bit of an overhang here, which would be nice to put kind of items on. So we just do that. And then um, so you've got like a, a nice little kind of shelf there. So now we move on to the inside of the building. Um, because I'm basing this off of the um, do it better one, there aren't going to be any cupboards or anything in here. It was very plain the do it better one. So we're going to keep it that way. But what we are going to do is make the countertop for this and kind of cover in all of these, um, all of the legs and whatnot on this counter. So the easiest way you do this is just take that piece you first put in, control X to du duplicate it. And we're going to bring that to this point basically so we know kind of where we what what room we've got to play with we're now going to go to plaster um we're going to select the two by one because it's a slightly smaller piece because what i like to do is i like to take this all the way to the wall there 
Um, and then um, I like to then get the, um, is it the one by one? We're gonna take that all the way to the end uh, up this side. Um, and then we are going to like leave, um, you know, a bit of a gap underneath there. Cause I think it looks quite nice like where his feet are, but you've kind of disguised all of the legs basically. Um, what I would say is, um, because this isn't a piece I put on there, because I, to be honest with you, I totally forgot. There's a, a North African plaster brick 04, which is a relatively small brick. And you want to take this kind of to here, because if you were to use these pieces, they're too large and they'll po poke out the front. So just take it to the front now and then kind of just take it forward so it overlaps and you'll see it doesn't come out the front of the building. Um, so just take that piece there. You've got the two pieces. So just move them so they're higher. And you're just going to duplicate them pieces until they fill the gap like so. And you're just going to um, then select those pieces um, it is quite difficult to select them because of the shop being there, but you can select those uh, three at the front, uh, take them over to there, so they're all nicely kind of lined up, and then you're going to just take them forward like so, and job is a good one, and you've kind of made that little section where your, uh, where your vendor stands. Now, to make the top uh, kind of look nice, that's where the plastic pieces come in, so we're just going to put plastic on here, uh, and you're going to go down and you're going to find the O2. Now, I personally think the O2 is going to be too large because this is a slightly smaller building. Um, but we're going to take this up so that it just sits over the top of your um, vendor uh, table, basically, because you want to cover that up as well. So we're going to take it forward uh, to that point. Yeah, it is, it is too large. So you're going to have to use the O1 for the inside um, that's my mistake I probably should have put that on the pieces but uh, you can just use the 01 and then what you're going to do is you're going to take it so that it just sits in front of the plaster basically uh, or you can you can do it so it sits on top but I like to do it so you get a nice little lip on the top of the plaster now I am going to use green because I've used green on the kind of outsides of the buildings so you're just, just going to take this and you're going to run this along uh, you've lined it up to the top of your um, your countertop so it's going to cover your countertop basically so you're going to do it like that uh, like so and then you're going to have to come back because there will be some left so you're now just going to take that forward just to kind of cover what's left of your countertop so you're going to take it to there and you're going to take it to there and there you go you've got a nice custom countertop on the inside of your shop uh, as you can see as well, all of your kind of um, all your plaster pieces are in, uh, you know, on, in here as well. Um, and then what you are going to need to do is you're going to need to fill these little gaps with some plaster. Again, that's where this um, plaster brick is going to come in handy. And maybe I probably should have put this on the pieces. Um, I really have forgot myself where, where that's concerned. We're just going to take that up to the top there. And then we're going to just line it up with our doorway uh, like so. Um, I'm hoping that hasn't come out the front. Oh, no. Okay. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. I'm not sure how I'm going to get around it, gang. Um, I think we're going to have to just take that in like so. See, this is what I was saying to you. There's always going to be some complications that will come up when you are making buildings. It's just it's just one of those things, gang. Um, you know, you, you won't get anything perfect straight up. So then you're just going to select these two wall pieces and take them back and line them up. It doesn't matter if they sit in a little bit. Uh, it really, really doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, you know, don't stress too much uh, if that is the case. We're just going to flip that around and we're going to do the same on the front of the building as well. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to poke out. Yes, it is. So we're just going to use that wood. And we're going to come this way like so. Um, we're now going to take it to the uh, top of the window uh, frame uh, there. And we're just going to go um, along. Um, we should probably only have to do one line of these because our ceilings are going to sit probably just on the top of uh, of that, I would imagine. I'm not sure. I'm, I would imagine they, that that's, that's going to be the case, though. So we're just going to select those three pieces and we're going to just line them up. So just pull them forward and line them up all nice, like so, with your with your plaster pieces you've just put in at the top there. So that's uh, another job done. Um, we're really, really on the home stretch now, though, gang. All we've got left to do is the door, the ceilings, and the roof. So let's crack on and do that, shall we? So we'll do the door first. 
um, because uh, that is kind of like next job up. Um, I've just realized that the door frame is actually higher than the wood, so um, we will have to. Maybe that wood needed to be you know, set a little higher, but we'll just bring the door frame down. It really doesn't matter. We can bring that down a little bit, just so it sits just underneath the wood, like so, so you can see all of the door frame. Uh, and then we will just have to select these three pieces and we'll bring them down. This is a good, actually, this is a good thing to see, like why I'm building this. It, it doesn't always, it isn't always perfect first time. There are things you're gonna need to go back to and rectify as you're kind of building, okay? So don't don't stress if things don't work first time. Now click on your door frame, press X so you get that duplication, and then we're gonna go to plastic again. And this is actually where you are gonna use that um, zero two piece. We're gonna bring this up, we're going to rotate. It's green already, which I'm going to leave um, because of the um, because we've done the worktops in it. And we're just going to stick this in here, gang. And you're going to go all the way to the top, like so. And then at the bottom, we're going to just change the color uh, to like a nice gray or something. And then you're going to just bring this forward until you can see all the gray like so and you're going to take that to the bottom and you're just going to put it there and it just gives you a nice little detail on the bottom of your of your door uh you know like so now to create a custom handle sometimes i don't do this sometimes i'll just leave the metal door kind of inset but because we've deleted it on this one to make a nice custom handle you can go to this um shutter hinge and just select this shutter hinge and then you're going to take it to about a third of the way up the door, okay? So just about there, I would imagine. Um, and then you're gonna rotate this piece on its end like so. And you're just gonna come in ever so slightly, just inset ever so slightly, and you're just gonna come out this way. And then you're gonna rotate this piece and uh, all the way like that. And you're gonna get it so that it just goes in that little nook at the end. Just take it back like so, and there you have it, you've got a custom handle that easy it really really is that easy gang you're just going to select that piece you're going to go to the inside of the door and you just select that piece we're going to come to the inside of the door and your handle uh, repeats itself on the inside and as you've probably just seen the door is quite um is quite thick um so this door frame doesn't quite fill the whole thing so you're just going to select it all and replicate it by pressing control x and you're going to bring it to the inside of the building just so it all matches up basically so there you go there's your custom door it really is that simple next up you're going to do your custom roof so we're just going to select these pieces we're gonna, um, that's not, that's gonna be too large, so we're gonna select these pieces, actually. We're just gonna bring it up like this, we're gonna rotate it on its end. We are gonna change the color to a slightly, uh, you know, lighter, kind of, uh, a very light gray. And we are gonna take that uh, ceiling. As you all know, I usually kind of leave a little bit of space kind of at the top. Now, the way this has been designed is that we would take this so it just sits over the lip, and that's kind of the perfect height for our ceiling, basically. So that's kind of why I designed it this way. Uh, not only is it a good uh, rule of thumb for myself, because then I kind of know where bits need to go, but it was uh, it was kind of done on purpose so that you guys, um, it made it a little easier for you guys, basically. So you're going to do those two pieces, put those in, just do, make sure your Z fighting's all sorted out by just doing that little up and down. We're going to do it again here because we've just kind of duplicated two pieces and brought them forward. So we're just gonna bring those two so they line up. And then uh, now your ceiling's on, you kind of wanna put a light in, in the middle. Now I didn't put a light on the pieces to use because it's up to you what light you wanna use. Now for me personally, I like to use a particular kind of light on this building and it is this one. It is the um, hanging lamp. Only I do this one without the uh, wires basically. And you're gonna get this to a point where it, is pretty much central uh, on the building. So we're just gonna flip it. And I like to just go above and uh, you can just play this by by eye basically. You just kinda want it in the middle of your door frame uh, and it should sit just offset on your window because this bit is larger here. Um, we do need to take that uh, forward a bit, don't we? Hmm, something's gone wrong with the design. Um, on that piece of the window, I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe the window was lower in a previous build, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we'll just take that there. Um, 
so yeah this is uh yeah this is this is very strange this is not how this was before maybe i just need to to just take it in like so um we'll take that piece in as well and then uh just select uh we'll select this uh, this and we will just come out a little bit more and we probably won't even notice that it's there then like so oh we don't see it anymore there we go job done oh there you go uh, probably just bring this piece of wall over instead rather than using those because they're slightly thicker pieces so that's the uh that's the issue that you have and it's just a case of just um just just maneuvering the pieces so that it tidies itself up but there you go there's your lighting your window all your indoors done all your outside is done and it is just the last piece to put on gang is the roof now what i like to do with the roof here is you've got these wooden pieces we're going to go back to those metal um trim pieces um that we've been using so we're going to go back to these we're going to just rotate this on its side and we're going to take it so it just sits on top of the wood and we're going to get it so that it just comes and it just hangs on the lip there i'm going to make this the darkest color possible um, because i like this to be a very different color um, we're just going to take that to there and then we're going to just do the same on the back so we're just going to come right to the edge of uh, of the lip there we're then going to get our two meter one because we know that this end is uh, is a lot shorter uh, so we're just going to go to there bring that forward like so and we're just going to bring that to there like that select these two pieces we're going to bring them forward just so it all lines up nicely and now you can kind of maneuver all your bits into place like so so that does need to go forward a little bit more and then we're just going to take that duplicate it um, up to this end and we're going to do the same the other side so just select that we're going to go to there like so place that in just bring that up to here like that select these two pieces we're gonna duplicate them bring them up to there and then we're just going to take this piece and the back piece back just so they all line up nicely so that's that job done and then we just need to put the roof on so select the ceiling uh, you've already got metal selected and this is where these metal pieces come in handy so we're just going to select this one and rotate it on its end we're going to bring it up and you want it to just sit just below that little level um, so it's just going to go to there like that you're going to go on here i'm going to have the roof green i'm just going to make sure that it does all line up nicely so just to kind of like there like that um, there are no gaps it's all looking really nice and we're going to do the same we're going to just get this to go just to here at the back and you just want to make sure that nothing's coming out so you just go down and just make sure basically now one thing you're going to notice is you're going to de definitely get some z fighting and unfortunately it's just something you can't afford, uh, avoid with this piece and what i do is rather than having to do the up and down because you can never get it back level is take it to the end and see if you can get it down to this point at the front by lining them up and unfortunately we can't um so just because the the roof isn't quite big enough so we just go we'll just go to there um at the front um it doesn't look like we've, we've got any fighting but we'll just go up and down anyway uh like so um and then you're gonna want to get a smaller piece um and just do the, the, the that piece we'll take that to there and then you're going to click on that one because you've obviously it doesn't line up you need to click on that one and take that one to there as well and that my friends is that that's how easy it is it's really really not that difficult now you can take this as far as you want you can add guttering on uh, i've just noticed that uh these pieces need to go back a little bit because that's just going to annoy me i want it to look nice you know i don't want it to look like a, a rushed kind of uh, effort i want you to definitely be able to kind of go away 
and uh, and use this building and techniques. So there we go, just covering all those bits up, just tidying. I always have to do that, is I go around the building and tidy it up at the end. Um, like I say, you can add more details to this if you want. You can add gutter into it. You could add vents to it. There's lots of bits and bobs that you can add, but this is kind of just the basic building um you know that i wanted to show you that you can build that looks really nice and is you know a lot more to scout and a lot more effective kind of in your parks and if we just bring the other one over and we do a side by side you can see how similar they are gang uh, obviously we've gone a little bit different we've done like a bit of a different trim on the top of this and obviously uh you know the doorways in a different place and stuff but the basic shape of the building the basic way of building it is very very much the same i've also noticed that this window is probably uh set a little higher but they are very very similar so let me know what you've made of that in the comment section my friends let me know if that's something that you're going to use going forward in your zoos and if if you do end up using this and making it you're on the discord feel free to send me your pictures in the planet zoo chat i'd love to see your efforts at this but my friends we're done and dusted for this let's build together episode feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more of this and plenty more content and drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it but my friends until next time you stay safe stay humble and i will see you real real soon